I'm Sam from the Communities Team at the National Football Museum. The museum's collection is packed with the history of the game of our lives. In this video, I'll be taking you through 11 museum objects all about some of the most memorable moments of the Premier League era so far. Impossible and outrageous, we've seen it all. In the summer of 1994, Spurs made what has been argued to be the first superstar signing of the Premier League. Jurgen Klinsmann quickly transformed any negative perceptions some English supporters harboured after being beaten by Klinsmann's West Germany in the 1990 World Cup. Klinsmann had a brilliant season in England and undoubtedly changed the global image of the Premier League for good. In January the following year, shock and controversy descended upon the Premier League as Manchester United travelled away to Crystal Palace. Eric Cantona, who's since been voted United's greatest ever player, was sent off. On his way to the tunnel, a Palace fan hurled abuse towards Eric and he responded by launching a kung fu kick into the crowd directed at the fan. Cantona was issued a nine month ban for the attack and cemented himself a place in football folklore. In fact, the shirt United were wearing that day, the all black away kit, is in our all time top 20 at the National Football Museum and Eric's iconic commission, The Art of the Game, proudly hangs on our gallery walls. That 1994-95 season ended with a thrilling final day which meant that either Man United or Blackburn Rovers could still take home the Premier League title with a victory. Blackburn conceded in the last minute of their game to lose away at Liverpool but fortunately for them United could only muster a 1-1 draw against West Ham so Rovers were crowned champions ending their 81 year run without the English League trophy. This image was taken as part of Stuart Roy Clark's Homes of Football collection from the early 90s, it shows the advent of this transformative time for the English game. Now we skip forward to the end of the next season, whereby Newcastle and once more Manchester United battle it out for the title. In early April, Newcastle go away to Liverpool to play out a thrilling 4-3 loss that many still view as the greatest Premier League game of all time. Both teams ping-ponged in search of a winner, which eventually came in injury time when Collie Moore, Liverpool's £8.5 million signing, stroked home to settle a match of narrative purity. Newcastle's iconic shirt from this game is also part of our top 20 and is displayed as part of our exhibition strip, How Football Got Shirty. Arsene Wenger became the longest serving and the most successful manager in Arsenal's history. Wenger won three Premier League trophies during his time as Arsenal boss, most emphatically when his Invincibles team went unbeaten for a full season over the 2003-2004 campaign, smashing the English record for an unbeaten run at the beginning of the following season when they played in this shirt with a 3-0 victory over Blackburn Rovers. As well as bringing unprecedented success to the club, Wenger's reign at Arsenal was defined by his competition with Sir Alex Ferguson. By a distance the league's most successful manager, Ferguson's greatest triumph was his ability to continually reinvent the team, achieving success year upon year. In 2001, Alex Ferguson became the first and to this day only manager to win three successive English league titles with the same club. One of the most fondly remembered games for many United fans from that season being their 6-1 thrashing of closest rivals, Wenger's Arsenal at Old Trafford in February. A match which featured a first half hat-trick and match ball for United's number 19, Dwight York. Jose Mourinho moved to Chelsea in June 2004 and got straight to work impressing his philosophy and way of thinking upon the club. With Manchester United dominating this early era of the Premier League, Chelsea had spent their time mostly settled within the top six without really producing a meaningful title challenge. This was to change very quickly with the signings of Petr Cech, Didier Drogba, Ricardo Carvalho, Arjen Robben. The club had gone on to achieve a thumping title win in Jose's first season. Mourinho's profile grew massively and at the National Football Museum we have the puppet from the BBC's Spitting Image style show Special One TV. Our next object was directly involved in the strangest goal in Premier League history. In October 2009, Darren Bent of Sunderland tumbled a shot towards the Liverpool goal when it was met by a waiting beach ball. This contact was enough to divert the path of the shot into the back of Pepe Reina's net. Even though the laws of the game say that the goal should have been disallowed, it was given and actually Sunderland went on to win the match by a goal to nil. Manchester City were crowned Premier League champions for the first time in the 2011-2012 season. But where do you even start trying to tell that story? With City's impeccable record at home and the fact their opponents on the final day were relegation candidates QPR, the result should have been a fairly straightforward one. If both Manchester City and Manchester United won their respective games, City would be crowned champions on goal difference alone. What unfolded at the Etihad was an afternoon of nerve-shredding, exhilarating chaos which culminated in a 
92nd minute equaliser and a 94th minute winner from Sergio Aguero to steal the title from their rivals across the city. What happened a few years later in the 2015-2016 season is widely acknowledged to be one of the greatest achievements in the history of team sports. Leicester City's impossible dream of winning the Premier League in a campaign which they started as 5,000 to 1 outsiders is surely the most remarkable story. Their team of improbable heroes which included players like Wes Morgan, N'Golo Kante, Jamie Vardy and Shinji Okazaki whose shirt from that season is actually part of the National Football Museum's permanent collection. So there we have it, that's our 11 objects related to the Premier League era. But which objects would you include? Let us know in the comments, find these and thousands of other objects in our online collection at nationalfootballmuseum.com. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more football history content.